Okay, hi, we're back here at the APRO booth, and one of the things we're going to talk about is solving a data-intensive problem on HPC systems. So I'm going to turn it over to Greg from APRO, and he's going to lead us in and tell us who these gentlemen are. Hi, my name is Greg Fossett. I'm in sales at APRO. I'd like to introduce a couple of uh, our uh, wonderful customers who uh, are in the process of uh, putting together a very unique solution. And I'd like to introduce Dr. Mike Norman and Dr. Alan Snavely. Uh, I'll let them uh, review what we're doing with them in terms of a data-intensive computer. Well, we're building a system with, with APRO called Gordon that uh, involves uh, aggregating 32 compute nodes together with uh, virtual shared memory into a, what we call a super node. And this would provide a large amount of shared memory. Uh, in addition to that, we uh, put a large amount of flash memory on the super node, uh, some eight terabytes worth, in order to create a very uh, storage-rich environment for data-intensive applications. What type of problems is this designed for? Clearly, it's not the kind of thing you're trying to get on the top 500. No, uh, Gordon will not be a top 500 machine uh, unless they invent a new category for data intensive systems. Uh, this is really designed for scientific applications that have very large databases that might be resident in a relational database or in very large files. Uh, these applications are in uh, biological sciences, geosciences, uh, social sciences, and, uh, and uh, ast astronomy, uh, very large survey data. This is an interesting use of flash uh, hard drive technology. Maybe you could elaborate a little bit on that and how much flash is going to be in this system. I think it's a pretty staggering amount. Yes, give it down. Yes, uh, uh, Gordon will have 256 terabytes of flash memory, and that's organized into uh, eight terabyte chunks that are served up, each one by an I.O. node. Uh, potentially, this gives a, any processor within the system access to uh, up to two terabytes of DRAM and eight terabytes of flash from j just one core, for example, even if you have a serial application that's very memory hungry like that. The SuperNode, I understand, it's going to use Scale MP technology. Is that correct? Uh, that's right. We're going to be using Scale MP's software called VSMP, uh, which stands for Virtual Symmetric Multiprocessor. And this would be the glue that would hook together the storage uh, resources of these 32 uh, compute nodes and flash drives. And maybe you can just give us a, one example of the type of problem that this is going to enable. And I, I think this is a key thing. There's, there's certain classes of problem that just are not solvable unless a system like this is put together and developed by men like you. Well, I think the most uh, promising area is in uh, health sciences, uh, the entire revolution of genomic medicine, where uh, individuals will have their genome sequenced. That'll be resident in some database. And uh, the uh, genomic doctor, if you will, would uh, call up that genomic data and uh, correlate that with uh, your health conditions, your environmental surroundings, uh, the kinds of drugs you're taking. All of this would be stored in various databases and correlate all of those together to understand uh, how the doctor might uh, prescribe personal genomic treatments. And you're, you're using the uh, APRO Extreme X uh, technology. Maybe, Greg, you can mention, say a few words about that, what makes that different from uh, you know, your standard cluster? And yeah, the Extreme X uh, technology uh, allows for a, uh, a very unique uh, uh, user-friendly uh, environment uh, and also allows for them to uh, have very redundant uh, 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 elements within this cluster. Um, that allows for them to not only uh, have the performance they need, but also allows for the uh, applications to execute and uh, not uh, have to stop because of any types of failures within the, uh, the system. So uh, that should give them uh, the, op the opportunity to execute their programs uh, and their applications, get them uh, to, to, uh, to an answer, and uh, not have uh, uh, issues relative to excuse me so <laughs> but it's it's a great show 
So uh, the, this, this system should give them the power and the technology to uh, provide the performance and the RAS features that uh, they require to uh, perform uh, their science. Thank you, and I think this is really a pioneering effort on your part, and we expect to hear a lot more from your work and, and APRO uh, putting this system together. Thank you all. Anything else you want to say to talk about? Yeah, I'd just like to say that this system will be deployed at the San Diego Supercomputing Center, which has a very long tradition in serving data-intensive applications, and we're really looking forward to its arrival mid-2011. Thank you, and have a good show. Thank you.